I'm going to show you how to identify who killed your chicken. And there's a lot of choices here, folks. And I'm going to narrow all those possibilities down to just two. Okay, so what did this? Was it a snake, a tiger, a fox, a rat, a raccoon, a skunk, a possum, a behemoth, a wolf, a sasquatch, all over the cat, a human being, a feral pig, a weasel, a wolf, a hawk, an eagle, an owl, a turkey. Oh no wait, not a turkey. How'd that get in here? Pretty much everybody and their brother eats a chicken. So you're at the kill. And you know now what all the different possibilities are to kill a chicken. And I didn't even mention them all. I just mentioned most of them. And you want to read this kill to get a better idea of who did this. I've got a few questions you can ask yourself to help narrow it down. The first question you can ask is, did it happen during the day or the night? If it happened during the night, which you'll see most of these animals attack at night. Nighttime kills. Owl. Wolf. Weasel. Coyote, possum, skunk, raccoon, rat, and the tiger. Next up are those animals that could have done it during the day or the night. I'm sorry. I know it's tricky. Okay, the Sasquatch, the human being, the feral pig, the Bathemas. Rare but a reality. A snake. Oh, and don't forget Buster the dog. Hey, even the friendliest dog. We've we've had neighbors as close as there and there say both cases. Hey, this dog has never attacked a chicken. Don't worry about it. In both cases, those friendly little Maxes and Busters and what else do you call a dog? Bandit attacked our chickens. I don't care how domestic it's deep in their grain. That, that's what they do. They kill and eat meat. And Buster the dog, he can attack at night or day. Listen, as you see, most everybody can attack at night. So if you can secure your chickens at night, you're probably going to cut down on 95 or more percent of your predator problem. And even the ones that did their, that attack during the day could attack at night. Oh, I almost forgot. There are a couple that just attack during the day. I'm gonna call it eagle and a hawk. Okay, now suppose you come out to your chickens and you count them and somebody's missing and there's no sign. Now, if everybody was up in the coop and the door is shut back and locked still, that definitely leaves just one predator. The human being. Was that a huge black mullet on that guy riding a beach cruiser at this hour in the morning? Weird. So you see, human beings can be some of the trickiest predators to catch because they're so smart. And they've got those thumbs and they can shut hatches and shut off electric fences and climb over them. All that kind of stuff. But otherwise, if you just have a chicken missing, no feathers, no guts, no nothing, it could be a Sasquatch, snake, owl, eagle, hawk, coyote, pig, bear, tiger, or wolf. If it's a small chick that's missing, add snake to that list. They swallow those things whole. Another question you can ask is, is your chicken mangled or partially eaten or gone? We're just going to be able to start to narrow down here. Mangled, there's not too many suspects for that. I'm going to put a weasel on there. They are vicious. They will kill many. It's like they kill them for sport. And they might be taking some. Also, a rat. It's not necessarily mangled, but maybe even nibbled on. I mean, they might kill a small chick, but the adults, I've heard, this has never happened to me, that they can nibble on like the legs and stuff while they're on the roost. And then, of course, Max the dog. They've, they still have that instinct to kill, but they 
just don't necessarily eat it. So it's kind of incomplete instinct there, I guess. Oh, and the crow. Oh, let me show you that. We had some crows get some of our chicks. Look, roll it. Okay, something bad has happened, guys. It involves mama's chicks, the incubator chicks. They were out on the grass, and if, if, if guts bother you, you might want to fast forward this next part. Okay? All right, for all the rest of you, I gotta show this, the good, bad, and the ugly. Yeah, I looked out the window, and I could see chicks laying there, guts hanging out. Okay, this is bad. There's one, two, three, four, five, six chicks gone. That has never happened to us, actually, because look, look behind me. That's our door. This is in our front yard. And my first instinct is hawk, but I'm thinking, is a hawk really gonna land on and jump down? It hasn't in the past. I've been doing this for years. Now, it was strange, if just a few minutes ago, as I came out here to fix this thing, I saw a crow landing right here. And I wonder if these are small enough for a crow. At the very least, I'm gonna take the lesson learned and always keep this covered. Okay, kids, learn from me. Isn't that crazy? Who knew? Oh, and there's one more. Oliver the cat. I know, I know, it's hard to believe your sweet little Oliver could attack your chickens, yes. Probably not your adult chickens, but your younger chickens, yes. More so, more likely, if you've got a barn cat, a feral cat, something like that, so just be careful. We had gotten some cats from the pound to cut down on the mice population, and one day I came out walking to do some chores, and I saw a cat on top of a chicken, somewhere right in there. We had been missing some chickens several days before, but didn't have any idea what was getting them. They were just there, they were mangled, there was some things gone, but I caught that cat in the act munching on my little chicks. Now, they were not the very tiny ones, they were not the full grown ones, they were the ones that I like to call the teenagers. So the teenagers, maybe 12 weeks, or younger, you gotta really watch out. No, 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 don't, don't, don't get mad at me. It's a true story. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's the head gone. Another question, is the head gone and maybe some of the innards? I can narrow that down to four. We're getting closer, guys, to pin this down. Raccoon. And that would have happened at night. It could have been an owl, and that would have happened at night. Especially if your bird's bigger, the owl's not gonna carry it away. If your bird's smaller, it could totally be gone, and there might be some feathers there. If it happened during the day, we're talking about a hawk. Again, if, if, this, if it was real small, it could have carried it away. In most of my cases, the, the hawk has left it there. Also during the day, the eagle. Probably the number one predator for me is the hawk. I've had hawks I've probably been this close to the chickens. Well, maybe a little further. Maybe a little further down here. And walking by, just fed them, the chickens were distracted, and that hawk went, whew, come down, killed that bird. I got close enough, it flew away. Other times, I've had hawks fly right in, when I've had static coops, right into the coop and kill those birds on spot. Another aerial predator we've been having problems with at night is the owl. At first, I thought it was maybe a possum. The head was gone, the guts were out. That's a sign of the possum. We'll get to that in a second. Um, but then I realized the fence is really strong, so I don't think it was a, a land predator. It must have been the aerial predator. It was an owl, look. Oh gosh. Oh, oh no. So yes, even the aerial flying cousins of the chicken will take them down. It's a vicious world, especially if you're a chicken. Oh man. <laughs> Ask yourself this, are guts hanging on all over the place? High on that suspicion list would be the weasel or the possum. Hey, are your birds gone and there's just feathers left? For that, you want to suspect the wolf, although it can be all gone they might leave some feathers behind in the struggle. Depends on what kind of struggle it was. That's the case in all these. The coyote, the fox, the tiger, and a feral pig. And was there just blood and nothing else? 
Oh, the magic but unfortunate work of the Bathemus. And what about eggs? What if your eggs are completely gone? Think snake. And if your eggs are cracked open and the inside's gone, that's probably a skunk. Or maybe even a chicken eating their own eggs. Snakes are pretty ruthless. I had one eat nine chicks once. When they were small and in the brooder, it was nuts. I've also caught him getting eggs. I've also caught a snake getting a fake egg. Ooh, that was rough. That, that, that went in well. I've also had a snake eat slightly bigger ones alive. He can't, he can't bite me. He's got his mouth full of, uh, oh, still, oh my gosh, look at this snake. It's longer than you! <laughs> Word. I got six feet long. And another time, a snake got a hold of a broody hen, an adult hen, tried to swallow it, su must have suffocated and killed it. A full adult. It must have got it, the whole neck was wet. The snake got down in there, and you could tell it had to stop. But it killed the chicken. The snake couldn't swallow it. That was a disappointment. Oh no! What happened here? It's a lady that's been sitting on the ducks. One duck egg crushed, gone. She's there all in one piece, clearly dead. I have not seen anything like that. This neck is soaked and nothing else is gone. What if you come upon a kill and nothing seems to have happened? There's no mangle, there's no struggle, it doesn't seem like. And maybe the face is a little bit blue. It could have been self-destruction. I had one do that on me. His heart just gave out. Oh my gosh, guys. Somebody got got. And it's my main rooster. And his face is really purple. So we're gonna look into that and figure out what is the matter. So sometimes they're killing themselves. They're just dying for whatever reason. That's a lot of possibilities for killing your chickens. But listen, I can narrow it down to just two. Everything I name can fit into two categories. That's all you got to worry about. Was it an attack from the air or was it attack from land? Aerial predators versus land predators. That's all there is. All those fit within those two categories. Hey listen, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now you have a better idea of what in the world got your chicken. We kind of like to know those things and it's pretty important. But listen, I have a second part to this video if you're interested. If you're interested in prevention, what I, which I think is the most important. Even if you don't know what got your chicken, you can still prevent it. I have 12 different ideas for doing that. I'm going to give you it, it, it to you for free. I'll give you more information on that down below in the description. I talk about things as simple as just shutting them up at night. and then Or managing an electric poultry net. Or how about having a goose to guard the flock. That's, that's a lot of fun activity. I've got one of those. It just works out wonderful. So if you're interested in that and taking it to the next level and preventing it, not just knowing what did it, although that's useful, if you want to stop it, go ahead and check that out. It's in the description.